Chit, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, man, CodingFace.com, your boy's back, and I done did it again. Alright, today's topic is going to be, hey Joe, I'm trying to prepare myself to become a freelancer now in 2018, what should I do? What are some tips that you can give me? Well, first of all, you know, start cleaning up your, your LinkedIn page, start cleaning up your, your portfolio, just polish it up, right? Polish it up a little bit. If you learned a couple of new things in the past two, three months, post it up online, right? Share that to the world, right? If you did some some cool project that you're very proud of, share it on your portfolio. You know, I've noticed people who who have like really good skills, but then you look at their portfolio and they don't have all the things that they know for some reason. I understand sometimes we're busy, we, we're building applications, we're building things out there, and we don't have time to, you know, keep on updating our portfolio every single time. And that's fine. I definitely understand that. But, you know, whenever you're going to start getting new clients, you want to show them, like, the best of the best. You don't want to show them something that you did eight, nine months ago, and you're actually a way better developer now. And, you know, like, let's say you did something in, in, in March, right? But you know you did a whole bunch of stuff between September to December, like a whole bunch of new projects. Like, show those, show those uh, new projects, man. Don't just wait until, like, last minute and be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll clean up my, my portfolio. Maybe I'll start, you know, polishing it up. Like, nah, man, start doing it. As soon as you finish that project, post it on your portfolio. Like, okay, I just finished this. This is something I'm proud of. You get what I'm saying? Also, too, man, you know, start looking into getting contracts. Contracts are very important, right? Look online for freelancers, uh, contracts for freelancers, contracts for web developers. Because a lot of times, you know, we, we forget about this. Like, let's say somebody comes up to you, uh, let's say word of mouth, you got a new client, right? And that new client comes in and he wants something like let's say uh, a website right something that you could do with wordpress or if you want something more complex something you could do with laravel right put everything in a scope right put everything in in, in a contract where you could say hey man i'm doing this uh, this website is going to have user authentication it's going to have some uh, uh categories for the blogs etc whatever it is right but keep it in a scope right Write it down in a contract that yeah both agree and say hey this is gonna cost you know two thousand three thousand dollars to get done I'm gonna get it done in three weeks or however long you you think it's gonna take you keep that in the contract right because there's people out here who be you know scope <laughs> what is it scope creeping like <laughs> like they ask you for one thing and they pay you for for that thing right and then the next thing that you know they're like hey man can we act can we add a forum can we add like you know some comments functionality can we add um uh, you know like a dashboard where i could see all my google analytics on uh, on the back end and it's like mm, you know it's gonna take more time but you're not looking to pay more so <laughs> you know keep it in the scope man so Get ready for 2018 because you're going to bump into a lot of clients like that, right? Now, another thing, too, is start looking in the right places, man. Like, let's say, for example, um, you find a, a, a good website out there. Personally, I think for somebody like me, if I wanted to get back into freelancing, I would go to Lara Jobs. Lara Jobs has a lot of different companies posting, you know, remote jobs that they need developers to to work with them you know doing laravel and that's what i tell you guys like especially if you like international if right now I, I got a lot of people from england i got a lot of people from uh you know south africa i got people from nigeria philippines like guys you guys need to start looking into those type of websites uh lara jobs uh what is it remote remote jobs okay i think that's the name of it Remote jobs okay. The IO. Uh, check on Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow has a, a nice remote area where all the jobs there are remote. 
start looking into those websites, man, and start applying. Like, just because you think like, oh man, it says three to five years, I'll be honest with you guys. A lot of these companies, they don't know if you have three to five years. If you have a portfolio that's legit, it doesn't matter. It's like people look at, at, at people's portfolio and, and see their skills and realize that like, hey, we could hire this guy. You know, sometimes it's not about how many years you've been on if you know how to present yourself in a way where you look like a professional. You got what I'm saying? Like you don't have to be just like one one year. You got what I'm saying? So yeah, man, so it's crazy. That's a, um my fault. <laughs> Got lost right there. Uh, yeah, so definitely look into that, man. Try to try to get, you know, get your skills up. You know, show your skills and find the right places, man. You got to do research for 2018, man. Like, I'll be honest. You can't expect things to just fall on your lap and just be like, oh, cool. Like, life is going to be easy. It's just not. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to put in that that time and put in those hours of doing research, finding the right websites, finding the right clients, uh, you know, fixing up your portfolio, cleaning up your LinkedIn, um, you know, doing networking. Sometimes, you know, just networking is better than anything else out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you could go in and actually, you know, find better clients than you will find on any website just from networking. You know, somebody might recommend you that you didn't even know that they had connections to. Like, let's say an example, you get a connection to somebody who owns multiple businesses. So now you have that client there, right? You have that client where pretty much you could be like, hey, I'll do one of your websites. If you like it, I'll continue doing more websites for you. And now from there on, you could charge for maintaining it you do the website once and then every time that the person comes in is like hey could you change the menu 45 dollars just to change the menu like i do that all the time to people you know hopefully none of the clients that i have <laughs> look at this it'll be like something that takes two seconds i'll be like oh 45 dollars you know what i'm saying like yeah because it's your time it doesn't matter if if for example if that that thing that they want to change only takes you 10 minutes Hey, man, I don't charge by minutes. I charge by hour. So anything between zero minutes to 60 minutes, give me, you know, 45, give me 60. You get what I'm saying? Like, depending on the client. You can't hit people in the head either, but you got to know who you're charging. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got to know who, who to charge and how to charge those people. Because let's say you know somebody who, who is actually... It's a small business. They don't make that much money. You're not going to hit them in the head because it's better to keep them there. Like, let's say somebody that uh, you maintain their website and all they give you is $25, $30 an hour. That's fine. Keep them there because those people always come back. But let's say somebody that is a big company and they they come in and be like, oh, we're going to pay you $60 an hour. Cool. They charge you $60 an hour, but they're only going to hire you that one time. Hit them in the head. Those people, you got to hit them in the head automatically because you know them well, they're not coming back. You know, there's people that they just there finding, uh, you know, uh, different developers for different situations. Like, let's say an example, they have one area which is actually in, in JavaScript, right? For example, let's say they have a, a dashboard in Angular and they hire you to do some changes on Angular. Most likely... They're not going to hit you up for like a year, two years after that. So if you're only going to get that one job from them, make sure you hit them in the head, right? Charging them accordingly and be like, hey, man, I know this is not going to be a repeat business. So pretty much this is how, how much I'm going to charge you, $85 an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to know how, how to do this, how to run your own business for, for 2018, man, especially when you're doing this thing freelancing. Like, freelancing is... It's like, you know, it's like back in the days and medieval days where people get to barter things and be like, hey, man, I got a goat's ear. Can you build my website? Like <laughs> people's going to come up to you with crazy ideas like that. Like, hey, man, what can how can you build me a, a Facebook with three hundred dollars? Like, 
some people's gonna try to hit you with that. You know, so it's like it's up to you to decide if you want to take those jobs. But yeah, man, those are the things that I could say for 2018. My tips for 2018, like if you're gonna get into freelancing. So yeah, man. Um, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. <laughs> we here, we chilling, man. We we took a little drive, hanging out with you guys. Want to give you guys, uh, you know, uh, constant content. You know, just how I used to do it. And yeah, man, we here, codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my website if you want to learn different programming languages. If you want to get into web development in general, if you want to make money out here, guys, trust me. Go to my website. That's what I do. You know, I'm not here to sell you guys dream. I'm not here to give you theory. I'm not here to, for the BS. That's the problem, you know? That's that's the thing. If you're here for, like, the BS, it's like, man, I just want to be intellectually super smart. Like, man, this is I'm not about that. I'm about the money. I'm about making money and, you know, multiplying my income every time that I get a new job or a new opportunity, you know? You should never be working for... Uh, a company or freelancing if you're going to be making the same money every time that you switch up on careers or switch up on on different companies like you need to multiply that it doesn't matter if it's you multiply by 0.5 multiply by two multiply by by three you got to multiply that money Whatever you was making last year you was making 45,000 this year you need to be making 75,000. You know, in the next year, you need to be making 95000 The next year, after that, you need to be touching 100000 even if it's 101000 <laughs> But at least you passed that mark. You get what I'm saying? You got to have goals in this thing, man. So, yeah, man, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back. Check the description out, guys. All right? I'm out of here.